All right, so we just went over bookmarks. Next up is device output. Just like you had uh, input as a, a, tr a trigger or an event, we can also do an action out to those cameras. So if a camera has an output, you can not only receive an access control request, you could have the video operator say, nope, you don't get access because we don't recognize you with a soft trigger and say, no, uh, close that door, keep it locked, or verify identity and open that door with the operator with an output, right? Um, so to do out the device output, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go into this camera here. We're going to camera rules. We're going to use soft trigger again, right? And this time it's going to be output Nick. Because Nick is just the easy thing to do. We're going to use the arrow to indicate an output. We're going to go device output. This time we're going to use the axis P8221 um, and get rid of that back right one. Um, and then we're going to turn on the fan. And we're going to run it for a fixed duration of five seconds. So when I press apply here, now this book, this uh, soft trigger has changed output Nick as my it's my input event. Um, and when I click that, um, whoop, you'll see the fan over here start to spin. So let's try that again. Let me let me zoom in on it so you guys can see. All right. So now the span the fan is spinning. Then it'll slow down here in a second to stop. I'll run it again. Boom. Now it's spinning again. So that's device output. Pretty self-explanatory, pretty simple. Questions, Nick? No. All right, Nick's got no questions. Next one up is do recording.